Hello, good afternoon. Thank you for tuning into my channel. My name is Desiree. I hope that you are doing well and I hope that you enjoy this video. This is a small 10 by 10 inch painting of a butterfly. It took me about six hours to do. That may be an overestimate. I really needed some nature in my life so this was a somewhat practical way to go about that. I started out with a rough outline pretty much blocking everything. It's not a real plan but way better than what I did in the last video. I know it looks like a job right now but I promise it gets much better towards the end. Then I simply started painting. I started doing the really big and prominent features such as the wings and putting the base of the black in. At first I'm working on the little hairs in the thorax and abdomen area and trying to focus on getting all the colors in like ochre and purple. It started out being grayscale but then I mixed some purple. I made it a bit too blue, but I continued onwards as I thought it still looked like the source image. But I could have put some more red in there to make it warm. I'm trying out this new method of showing you exactly which colors I am mixing as I am painting. And then I start focusing on the wings. The biggest challenge here was just trying to find the right colors, the right greens. I used some cadmium yellow up in the top along with jade green. I also found myself curious about what those two things on the butterfly were, what they're called. They look like little paddles. Don't they? They look like little paddles. <laughs> Maybe they function somewhat like a paddle in the water, except for the air, or is that a silly notion? And then I started to put it in the veins, and oh my gosh, I'm talking about biology a lot. But for a year, I was looking under the microscope at wings of insects, and they are truly gorgeous. And that definitely reminded me of it when I was doing this painting. This comes a bit later in the video, but for my color palette, especially in the background that's full of greens, I start off with an olive green, just a basic green, and then I will add black to desaturate the color. I will use that for the darker bits, such as those triangular points to the top right and to the bottom left of the butterfly that create that central point of darkness in the painting. And this is me wasting my time on the phone. I think I might have been posting to Instagram, actually. I was doing it in real time, but I spend a lot of my time thinking about the work and I just forgot to turn my camera off but you have a real idea of what I'm doing when I'm painting. And then for the lighter bits I will add white to keep that muted tone and to bring back the color in the for example the leaf in the foreground you see there's some yellow hues I will put back the ochre and for the background especially the other colors I do put some ochre yellow in the bottom to create a tan color when I add white to it but there's also some red and that's very much grayed out I had to go back and mute it down because it was a bit too bright for what I was seeing in the photo of a very sort of dull background that really fades to the back and that's the purple and the colors of the butterfly really stand out in contrast. When I was doing the wings and started putting in the speckles, I mixed ochre yellow with white and then I used that in the top part where the light was hitting the wings most directly and then where it sort of folds I simply mixed in some black to make it darker and achieve that effect of the, the wing really bending as it seems in the photo. My favorite part about this painting was that it really reminded me of the galaxies and stars and I just thought all those speckles all over the wings were just gorgeous and beautiful. Butterflies also remind me of Jamaica because they're just flitting around all year and I love seeing them I guess spawn at a certain time and they're literally everywhere. There are cars and butterflies everywhere. After I put in all the colors for the background, I basically had to spend time shading them and then going over it with a dry brush and smoothing out all the edges and this is the part where I really felt trapped because I was thinking to myself oh I can't just be nice and abstract it because it would detract way too much from the butterfly if I put in my distinct textured strokes that I like to put in. Ah, it looks sort of ghastly when it's in the process that's why I always used to not like showing my works in progress. I smoothed out the background by going over multiple times with a dry paintbrush, both small for the edges like where the leaf of the foreground meets the leaf of the background. 
but then also going over with a larger brush for the parts in the bottom where you see the red and the ochre, the muted colors. One thing I had to pay attention with with the leaves was getting the edges right with the tiny white hairs that created the fuzz around the edges and also when I was doing the veins it looked more realistic the more I put in the smaller veins and I had to pay attention to getting the lighting right so you had the effect of the bulge in between the veins where there's the, the darker portion and it shows a curve as it transitions from dark to light. I should know that it was possible to be more realistic but this was enough for me and that's what I was going for. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.